Now, rising audience figures and reduced funding don't often go together, but cuts have meant one of our leading theatres is rethinking the way they work, leading to accusations they're dumbing down. The Belgrade Theatre in Coventry reopened five years ago after a £14 million revamp and say despite the recession, they've managed to pull in bigger crowds. Joan Cummins reports. <laughs> Glam rock and a musical inspired by Mark Bolan is one of the latest weapons to attract audiences to the Belgrade in Coventry city centre. I'm going to try and put together a programme that can still attract national attention, can still be seen as interesting and dynamic and innovative, but has the opportunity to attract a, a larger popular audience, particularly for the work we produce. Is, is there a danger there that you might be accused of dumbing down? That's always the danger. So. The money that you can attract by a, a large popular show like 20th Century Boy allows us to fund some of the other work that we want to do. Since the Belgrade first opened in 1958, it hasn't been afraid of giving new actors a break and reinventing itself. Five years after a multi-million pound refit, two separate theatre spaces now work side by side. Craig Conway is currently starring in a one-man show written by a local author and has no doubt of the importance of the Belgrade in the community. The money that they're making isn't just going into somebody's pocket, it's going into reinvesting into the company. So I think it's, you know, you, you get your money's worth. Since reopening after a major revamp, the Belgrade have averaged 136,000 tickets a year for its shows and the audiences say it's vital to Coventry. I love live shows, you see. Yeah. Rather, uh, rather come to the theatre any time more than going to the cinema. You know. Good plays, good shows, and, and they're reasonably priced. To put on live shows, live entertainment, that's important. With more public funding cuts on the horizon, the Belgrade are convinced that further fancy footwork and an innovative approach to attracting audiences and revenue streams will continue to guarantee full houses. <laughs> Joan Cummings, BBC Midlands, today, Coventry. Oh, the memories. <laughs> Still to come tonight.